Hello and welcome to Impact. You have to go back six decades to find the origin of a multi-service agency that continues to receive national accolades. Some of you may remember an organization called the Parent and Child Guidance Center. In 2001, the center merged with the Whale's Tale, an emergency shelter for homeless youth, to form Family Links. Executive Director Fred Massey is here to tell us more about this all-inclusive nonprofit. Thanks for joining today. Thank you, Dennis, for having me. What would you say is, and I say all-inclusive because your organization is truly about all things family, um, young and old alike. Yes, um, that's why it makes us unique in the area. We have almost 20 different programs that services individuals, children, and families all together. And this is from ages from birth all the way up to those who are seniors that, are, that we service individuals. We have about 8,500 individuals we service on an annual basis. You also give out nice awards for the Circle of Courage award ceremony that you had recently. Yeah. Yeah, we sponsor the Pittsburgh Circle of Courage Awards because just as our clients have inspiration and courage to do the things to get through all the different services they utilize, we want to recognize individuals of faith and courage in their different industries too. And it's just a good program that recognizes individuals for what they do in the community. What would you say is the most popular program or service that you provide to families? I think the counseling services that we provide is very important because a lot of individuals have family members that are struggling with different things, whether it be mental health issues or dealing with things going forward that they have to live together with certain things and they have conflicts and sometimes these conflicts don't get resolved and it results with families being broken apart. But if we can get in and help them whether or not in our own clinics that we can provide that outpatient counseling or we can actually have services that can go to individuals in their homes and meet with them and their families to work things out. Do volunteers you use need special training? No, um, we have volunteers for different special events that we do to help raise awareness or if we also operate many uh, shelters for the children youth services and so we have volunteers that come in that do birthday parties, they'll do um, events with the kids that are in our shelters so that they can have some similar of experience with, with families just like anyone else would have in the community. Mm -hmm. September is recovery month. Anything special in the works? I understand there's a community fair. Yes, you know, September is National Recovery Month and for those going through drug recovery, um, it's an important time for we know that there needs to be a lot of services and we know about the epidemic, especially in this area with, hepa with heroin and you know, with some of the prescription medicines. But we have a community affairs September 16th that we have resources. We'll have 20 different vendors from community resources available to individuals that need treatment and also for family members that need help. Let's put the information on the screen. You just talked about it. The Family Links Community Fair, Friday, September 16th, from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., 250 Shady Avenue in Pittsburgh. You can go to familylinks.org for more information. It's going to be a great event, and uh, I want to congratulate you on keeping uh, the best foot on the ground. Well, thank you. We hope the community comes out and gets the information that's necessary for them and their families. That's Impact for this week. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.